Okay guys, now we're going to do, in part 3 of this series, we're going to do the uh, releases for Moment and for Local. So, first we'll do the releases on the first floor. Alright. Um, to start the releases, we go to the specification page. We will start with the moment releases. So we go to B, release at the start, MZ, add. We will create the next one, release at the end, MZ, add. Close. Right. Let's keep this here. <coughs> Now with the beam cursor highlighted, you can see where is it start. Now because we added these secondary beams, the main beam has split up. So if you highlight this one, you can see this, it starts here and it ends here. So the start will be here and the end will be here. So it will be one, two, three. So if it's a highlight start, it's going to be this one. Of this one, this one, yeah, 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 I think this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, um, I think there may be releases in the middle, yeah, so you do it as well, yeah, this one, this one, this one, this one. I just press assign to select the beams, yes. You should see these little circles show here. And now with end MZ, select this, this, <coughs> this, 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 close, this, this, oops, not that one, close. This, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And that's for the end, assign, yes. Okay, now we have to offset these um, 0 0.46 feet away from the column. So, if you look at the drawing. In addition, we have to also do the beams running in the Z direction. They have to also have the moments released. So select them, I guess. Assign, yes. Then with the end, same selection. Be careful not to choose the ends. Assign. Yes. Okay. Now we have to offset. Um, we have to offset the beams and them 0.46. So keep it in the specification page. Beam offset at the start and the this direction will be Z. So in the Z direction 0.46. Now we start, add, create the next one, and n will be 0 point, negative 0 0.46 in the opposite direction. Add, okay. So for the start, we're gonna select all these beams, and all these beams. Assign, yes. Um, and then for the end, same selection, sign, yes. Just to get a better idea of what you're looking at, right click, go to structure diagrams, full sections, okay, and zoom in and you will see that the beam is offset. 
the medal we will work on and uh, on this side something is wrong so let's 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 check that right click structure diagrams and okay there may be a problem here and you can see the orientation the orientation for these beams are different this beam ends here and starts here so what I may have to do instead of trying to change the orientation of this I will create a new um, offset where the start is negative 0 0.46 and, and the end is oops and the end is 0 0.46 and, um, that being said I need to let me um, change all these offsets right so everything goes back to normal and start offset start and 0.46 and then start will be negative and that will be for the, the bottom row alright so let's, let's quickly do this so for the first one I can assign these I will assign those yes and for this one I will assign these Right, so that works. And then for this one, I'll assign these. Let's pay attention to the screen to see how it reacts. Let's see. Yes, that's what we wanted. No. Now for this one, same set of beams at the bottom here. Assign, yes. Close. Um, let's look at this. Let's investigate to see if we are we are okay. So right, so this works here. That's why it's important that you um when you create any beams to ensure that you turn on your node labels so the lower value goes to the higher value. That way the, the start will always be oriented the right way at the end. But when that does not happen, there is an easy fix for it. Or you could just easily just switch up the whole process. All right. So we have our releases, we have our offsets. Um, you know what? While we're here, I could create the master slave um, by going to commands, master slave, add. Actually, the easier way to do this was to go into specification. Go into node, master slave, not rigid. Um, first, we have, first, we have to decide what is the master slave number we're working with. So, use a selection, highlight this, just highlight it, and it's number 26. So, go to node, number 26, it's not rigid and uh, close did I do it? Uh, node number 26 why is that? Um, am I doing something wrong? yep 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 Let's, let's double check. Yes, so we're creating the master slave. So we go to node. It's number 26. Not rigid, but ZX, meaning this is in the ZX plane. You want this floor 
to act as a diaphragm and they want everything to react when this node here reacts. So if there's a force that acts in this direction and this pushes in this direction, then all the other nodes would move in that direction. Similarly, if there's a force pushing in the other, all of nodes will be constrained to this node. So it's ZX, add, and then use cursor to assign, make sure this is selected. You can select all the cursors, assign to selected nodes, yes, yes. Um, you can right click, go to labels, in master slave, or the shortcut is hold shift and L, and you will see that everything goes to this node here. Alright, shift and L will take your back out. Remember shift and L. Alright, so we're finished with this floor. We're going to the roof level now. Actually, let's go to the side view and we can do these offsets here. Alright, so this end is on this side. I don't know if this is necessary, but end is on this side. So let me just run a theory here. If I select this one, what's this? Alright, right. select this node, this beam. It starts at the bottom of the and we go we create another offset but instead of global it will be local um, start and it will be x this time 0, 0 0.46 um, and let's, let's test that theory on this one look at it inside um, assigned to this beam structure diagrams whole section it's kind of difficult to see here but it's possible that um, it's possible but it's very difficult to see for the braces on them. So for now, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Um, what is there? There's the, sorry, there's the first, the roof level to do. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to create a section cut there. Top view. And let's take a look at my roof level. Oh, I think I forgot something on the first floor. I am being very ditzy today, so let's hurry this up. Select view, uh, okay, top view. These here, running along the x-axis, has, um, has to be offset. If you look at your drawing, the ones that is attached to the flange has to be offset, 0.46 in the x action. So um, create a new one. Offset start will be x action 0 0.46. Add and we create the next one for end 0.46. Add. So for the start, you now it's very difficult to um, tell which one is which. Um, Okay, so this beam here, this, this beam here, this beam here, this beam here, and this beam here are connected to flanges. 
if you look at it right. So we could assign yes, and then with the end, we could assign yes. Now, obviously, Obviously, this is negative. So the star doesn't go here, the end goes here, because you just want this one to be offset, not this side. So that we have to be careful. So this one, this one and this one is a start, this one is an end, this one is a start. This one is an end, and obviously this one will be a start. So. So this one is an end, so we're going to pick all the ends. So it's this one, and this one will be ends. So I say yes. Yeah. Oh, I made a mistake here. This is supposed to be negative. Change. You see? It happened. So. That's fine. And then for the start, it's going to be here and here. Assign, yes. I got this in 3 um, Oops. Alright, so that's how you, that's what you wanted. All right, so now we could go to the um, roof level. Okay. Looking at the roof. This is pretty easy. Um, this is a beam, this is a beam. These are all fixed in place. These are released. Start, start. So we want to start the moment release first. So we have this, 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 and this. Same thing here. Let's hope so. Let's double checking the orientation of my beams. Um, assign, yes, and then take out that, and we just take out that, this, take out that, take out that, this, 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 assign, yes. Um, yeah, I'm not going to interfere with the braces on them, it's not that important. Um, Let's ensure that everything is right. So that's 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 good. So we did our releases, we did our offsets. What else is there left to do? We have to do our loads. I think I will leave that for another tutorial. So for part four, you'll get the loads. All right. So have a good. One.